That friend tells me that he was out here with coworkers and friends he hadn't seen in a long time due to COVID-19 restrictions. The 30-year-old victim was there with them. They were at Bar Louie having a good time celebrating when that reunion turned into a nightmare. We were having our drinks right by the window over here at Bar Louie. James Sandoval and his friends were enjoying drinks and food, getting together for the first time after the stay-at-home order expired. Have a couple cocktails, go see each other. We haven't seen each other in two and a half months. As they were wrapping up, they heard several gunshots. But if I had to describe it, it's something that you'd see in maybe a, um, a war movie. <laughs> Loud, quick burst, quick rapid fire. <laughs> He saw the shooter firing more rounds into the air. People in the restaurant hid in the bathroom, and people outside ran for their lives. God, bro. There was a lot of panic. There was a lot of crying, a lot of people being confused, uh, wondering what was going on. Minutes later, Sandoval realized his friend had left. I had to go and find out and make sure that she was okay. By the time I got around the corner, the police officers actually apprehended the gentleman and they had it under control and I actually found my friend and thank God she's, she's okay. His friend had been shot in the leg. Police say she had minor injuries and wasn't taken to the hospital. It's the worst feeling in the world. You feel helpless. You can't do anything. To, it's a con con uncontrollable situation. You can't help your friend. According to Glendale Police, the other two victims are a 19-year-old man and a 16-year-old girl. During the accused shooter's initial appearance today, the state prosecutor said the 19-year-old was shot in the chest and remained in critical condition at the hospital. We're not yet able to perform surgery because of uh, that blood loss that continued. The uh, hospital um, was very concerned uh, because of this in the inability to uh, stop the bleeding. Investigators say the 16-year-old girl was shot in the leg and has shattered bones. For the hospital, there was... A, uh, there was concern that at least potentially uh, there could be a loss of a limb and specifically the leg. Sandoval knows his friend is lucky to be alive. He says as terrifying as that shooting was, it could have been a lot worse. Just goes to show you that how pre precious life can be. You need to cherish every day and everybody that you love and everybody around you. Sandoval says he is so grateful police responded so quickly, got that suspect into custody, and also how quickly they were able to attend to his friend, who again is doing well and is recovering at home. Reporting live in Glendale, I'm Claudia Rupsich, ABC 15 Arizona.